Not. Please treasure your time. Fair enough. Okay, so we got... Oh, draw your sword. Here, I'll be on my guard. Don't want to be too... Don't want to be too trigger-happy with the sword, so to speak. Relax yourself. I am no foe. Were I a foe... Were... Oh, excuse me. Were I a foe, I would have already attacked you from behind, would I not? This is a good point. Not that I think there is any way I could possibly defeat a swordsman of your caliber, of course. This guy's too friendly. What's his angle? I have witnessed your ability, Endure. I have a mission I would like to ask you to complete on behalf of my master. And you think I'll accept you, or what's the mission? Yeah, we'll inquire. What's the mission? You are indeed everything the rumors say, Endure. Just off the coast of the mainland, there's a small isle, and on that isle, there's a small village. In that village, there's a young girl who shall turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Endure... ...is to kill her. That's a twist. I did not see that coming, honestly. I'm willing to bet that that girl's probably Setsuna. But, we'll see. Okay, so here we go. We're just... This is our long walk in the woods. I am Setsuna. Title crawl. I do like the game's style. It's pretty cool. It's very kind of... ...peaceful, comforting. It's nice, especially considering the unfortunate drought of, uh... ...good Japanese RPGs lately. With that said, I am very much looking forward to Final Fantasy XV at the end of September. Long overdue for that. Persona 5, I was hoping, was going to come out this year. It's coming out early next year, but that's still okay. I've got both of those pre-ordered. I've actually got the Take Your Heart Edition pre-ordered for Persona 5. I'm extremely excited for that. We got our opening credits. This sort of reminds me of Final Fantasy VI a little bit. Except in Final Fantasy VI, they were in the Magitek armor, walking forward. There. Developed by Tokyo RPG Factory. The Maiden Voyage. Okay. So with that out of the way... And now we're on a ship, which I guess found in the woods somewhere. Just off the coast of the mainland, there's a small isle, and on that isle is a small village. And that village is a young girl, she'll turn 18 years old this year. My mission for you, Endear, is to kill her. I hope he's paying well for that. Like, really. The village is which I speak is known as the Village of Sacrifice. Once every ten years, a sacrifice is chosen and sets out on a journey to the last lands to fulfill her duty. Not long ago, a young girl was once again chosen to become a sacrifice. It is she who is your target. I don't know if this is the most efficient plan. We'll soon be arriving at Nive Island, sir. Okay. Again, I don't know where we found a ship in the middle of the woods, but... I haven't seen your face around here before. Or your mask, rather. I've been wearing a mask this whole time? I guess you sort of can't see because the sprites are kind of zoomed out. It's very unusual for travelers to come over from the mainland, of course. My village is just past here. All the villagers are very friendly. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Okay, so there we go. Is there anything else you have to say? Another rule of thumb with Japanese RPGs, talk to everyone. It's not often anyone comes here from the mainland. Usually it's the other way around. There's a departure ceremony today, actually. What? Who's departing? The sacrifice, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Don't- feel free not to tell me where the sacrifice is. Just have to go figure that out myself, apparently. You want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just- uh, I- It says he's a nasal-voiced worker. I don't know if I can do a nasal voice here. After you leave the port, just head nord nordwest and you'll soon see it. Huh. So... We're gonna give him a little bit of dignity. We're not gonna make fun of his nasal voice. That's not cool. Bogstone times five. Actually, maybe I should look at some of these items and see what they do. Yeah, triangle pulls up the menu. So we've got... Change equip talismans, viewer equips, inventory, viewer use items. So Fogstone creates a smoke screen allowing escape from battle. Tent recovers the HP and MP of all characters. Potion recovers a small amount of HP. The items sound like they're exactly the same as Final Fantasy. Well, except for this. A material drop by Jabu's. Material drop by members of the species. So this must be for crafting, I guess. That's kind of all right. Key items, don't have any key items. Okay. Apparently we are level two. So let's just go in here. Go wander around the village. Go interact, be social. Oh, it's locked. 
Can't be thieves, though. Not this time. Sorry, we're not open yet. Okay, so I guess we just go outside again. And talk to you. What do you want? Very few people travel to this island these days, what with all the monsters. You're very brave to have come here. Let me welcome you on behalf of the village. Aw, thank you. Now go stand there and stare at your boat again. This is riveting. This is riveting. I love it. Best. Better than television. Better than 4K. Okay. Moving on. So, go up here, maybe? Oh, here's our world map. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can save anywhere here. Yeah, as promised, we can do that wherever we want. And sorry, it might blind you when I do that. Or, like, prevent you from seeing the screen, I should say. There we go. We'll just we'll make a quick save there. Just in case we did. Shouldn't happen, hopefully, but... Okay, so that's the harbor. This is just trees. So it is, again, it's very much like the Chrono Trigger map, where you don't seem to get attacked on the map. You just kind of wander around and see that wide view of the world. It's kind of cool. I think this is just forest, though. I keep thinking there's like a village in there, but there isn't. Okay, maybe this. Oh, here we go. Daz Shire Woods. This looks important. Let's go this way. It's a lot of piano in the soundtrack. That's yeah, a tactical oh, yeah. thing. Let's try to avoid big ass bears if we can. Oh, it missed. There we go. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. Exact kill. Bloody. I, I think that means like you took out like the exact amount of HP it had left. It must give you some special bonus. So that's oh, another locked treasure chest. Why are all the treasure chests in this game locked? That's not how RPGs go. You take whatever you can find. Okay, so then we got this one. We're managing. We can fight these pangy things without allies, right? All they do is slap us around. It's not even dignified. There you go. Zach kill again. Okay. Let's head up this way. Whoa, big thing. Okay, I don't know if we need to use the Cyclone necessarily, but... I hope this thing doesn't take us apart, but... Oh, Super Slap. This thing means business. It's gonna be a little more interesting later in the game when we have more allies, I imagine. There we go, we beat it. Six experience. Smooth oil. Kinky. Yeah, let's move on. Get this one. Oh, we got three antidotes. That's good. Generally in RPGs, for those who aren't aware, the first uh, status ailment you'll run into is poison, so it's good to have antidotes. Which even in a lot of games beyond RPGs, uh, a lot of gamers tend to know what being poisoned means. You just lose your health gradually. But again, you never know. Someone might be completely unversed in RPGs watching this. Uh, the rest of the snow effects are kind of rudimentary, but the way that the monsters and you kind of make tracks in the snow, that's really cool. I know I've been hammering on the snow effects so much, but it seems like the snow visuals are such a big part of the game. There. Oh, wow. I can't believe he missed. Okay. So there we go. Let's get him before he has a chance to attack. There we go. Pretty sheet metal, so that's more crafting materials. I'm guessing crafting doesn't come into play until later. Well, let's see what we got. Can we exit out here? So there we go. This is... Falling Snow Monument. Hopefully the sacrifice is here so we can go carry out our dirty deed and get our big moolah. There we go. We got... Nothing. We got a tourist spot. There's not even a way to take pictures here, is there? There. Pickles! Okay, moving on. That must be important later, but not now. Okay, let's try going over here. I don't know where else I'm supposed to go. We already... 
Okay, there's nothing over here. Falling snow mine. Maybe we went there. Huh, maybe I was supposed to go back through the woods then. I thought there was something up here, but maybe there isn't. Oh, that's great. We get to go run through the woods again. Oh, found a cliff. Oh, there's a shortcut. That's handy. That's the locked chest there, right? Just slap around this pangy a bit. There. At least we're leveling up a bit. That's always handy. Okay. So... Uh, oh, here. Here we go. That's where I want to be. Up a duh. Nigh village. Oh, someone's found us. Welcome, traveler. I am Raishin. I live here in this village. Beautiful scenery, warm people. It's a wonderful place, this village. It's a very outgoing village, too. Please, stay as long as you like. <laughs> oh, to have the quaintness of so... Oh, we got a trophy again. An uninvited guest. I guess the trophies are mainly given to you just by playing the story normally. The girl who has been chosen as sacrifice is ever such a kind young lady. She often goes to the Falling Snow Monument to pray to the past sacrifices. Well, she wasn't there when I was there. Where's the Falling Snow Monument? Just past the Dashire Woods. I know! I was just there! Ugh. Oh, well. The localization quality seems to be really good, too. I haven't found a lot of spelling errors. Like, it's kind of perfunctory localization, but that might be intentional, because it's meant to kind of call back to those uh, 90s localization styles. She's so kind, so beautiful. She's absolutely perfect. That's precisely why I think she's perfect for me. But now that she's been chosen to sacrifice, I guess I'll just have to try and forget about her. Yeah, that's, uh, that's totally how hormonal teenage boys think. Don't see any problems here. Okay, so is this... Oh! That little busybody says she's worried about me. A sacrifice should, eno should have enough on her plate without worrying about other people. Looks like your grandma talks like your bitchy sister. Ugh. Let's get over here. Carefree girl. Hey, have you been to the Falling Snow Monument? Yes, I have. Apparently, it's just through the Dashshire Woods near the village. I know. I played out of order. There are monsters in the woods, though, so I've never been. Oof, a little less monsters now. Oh, we can actually open that one. Athenian Water. Three. Not sure what the Athenian Water does. Actually, I mean, we can check that. I always like to check to keep on top of what the items do. Revives a knocked out character, also recovers a small amount of HP. So it's like your Phoenix down. I gotcha. Cool. Guess they didn't want to completely copy the item names from Final Fantasy. Do, do, do. Today is a day of celebration. The sacrifice will be departing on her pilgrimage. I feel like that's another Square Enix game. It reminds me of the day I saw my wife off. <sighs> oh, you're oddly content about that. I'm starting to think something's not so friendly about this village place. Okay. After she gave birth to my dad, my grandmother left here as part of the sacrifice's guard. Young or old, man or woman, anyone can join the guard if they've got what it takes. This does sound a lot like Final Fantasy X. Am I the only one who thinks that? I don't know. Hold on. My dog wants to leave. There you go. What, you don't like I Am Setsuna? You don't like it? Okay. Uh. Okay. So. Uh. Alright, let's keep moving on. I don't mind the cold at all. One day I'll be strong enough to protect someone like the Lady in the Sacrifice's Guard. The departure ceremony will soon begin. A journey of sacrifice made to appease the savage monsters. Yeah, I don't think it's working. It's a custom that's been practiced in this village for a long, long time. And it's clearly not working, considering that everything in the woods wants to slap me around. Okay. The monsters have become much more ferocious lately. Even just go getting through the Dashire Woods to the northeast is hard going these days. Unless you're level 2, then you're fine. It's kind of interesting how RPG NPCs are not self-aware about the level thing. Maybe that's just for us players' benefit. Oh, we got an apothecary. Listen to advice. Sure. 
Oh, tempering items. Along the course of your journey, you will sometimes come across special metals. By combining these metals with your weapons, it is possible to raise their stats. You can do this from the weapons menu. As you progress through the game, you will also be able to purchase these metals from Weppy and Tallies. Are Weppy and Tally everywhere in the world always? Hmm, okay. So, let's see, bye. We got potions, ethers, antidote. Remove sap. That's weird. Normally it's poison it removes. Paralysis, confusion. Maybe sap is poison. I don't know. Five's a knocked out character. Tent. Uh, how much money do we have? Well, we got 5,000 gold. We've still got our share. Does that mean the monsters in the game don't drop gold? Hmm, interesting. Creates a smoke screen, allowing escape from battle. Maybe you're supposed to sell the spoils, but not there, I guess, because there's no sell option. I thought this was supposed to be a throwback to 90s RPGs. You could always sell your shit for money. I can't tell anyone where Setsuna went. I promised I'd keep a secret. I guess I can tell you when she gets back from the Falling Snow Monument, though. <laughs> okay. We always thought all the monsters came here from the mainland, but this isn't the case anymore. Now they appear as if from nowhere, and their numbers grow greater by the day. I think that's a quote from Final Fantasy IV, if I'm not mistaken, but... It's nice how Square Enix is slipping in all these little nostalgic throwback bits. Mother and daughter, both settle, setting off a sacrifice. Fate is a strange thing indeed. I must at least make her some of that Arctic cauliflower soup she loves so much. I don't know what kind of taste that is, but it's not normal. Her mother and her aunt, too. I saw them off just like this, too. We are powerless to do anything else. Even if it's for everyone's sake, surely this is too much grief for one family to bear. So I think I've been everywhere in the village now, more or less. Are they seriously going to make me go all the way back through the woods and back to the monument? Uh... Okay, well, I guess we're off. Gosh, playing this in July is weird. Reminds me of Christmas. Okay. Up. Up through the woods again. Gonna go get us some more pengies. You don't really have time to sneak up on them. I'm surprised it says that you can attack them from behind. But I'm not really concerned about that. I don't think I've even really healed, but these things aren't that powerful. But, uh, just a crash, sturdy sheet metal. Don't know what a penguin is running around with metal for, but it's RPGs. Just go with it. Okay, so here we go. Okay. We're almost at level 3. There we go. Means we can smack around these things even faster than they can smack around us. I got one of Still another one of these. Come on. The speed of the game seems to be nice and quick. That's one thing that I think they have put uh, a modern spin on, is they've increased the tempo of the gameplay. A lot of the classic RPGs, they're very slow and very methodical, which a lot of people like, but uh, this yes. helps I Am Setsuna reach a potentially wider audience than the people who did play RPGs in the 90s. So there we go. Slippery Hide. We're at level 3 now. And, oh yeah, that's right, this is a dead end. No, wait. I lied. Go to the left. This is a beautiful soundtrack. Like, when I was streaming Song of the Deep last week, I remember thinking, like, video game soundtracks, it's been a while since I've heard a really good one. And Song of the Deep has a really good one. Oh, we got a trophy again, all seeing eye. Not sure what that means. But... Yeah, I really like the piano score here. Very nice. Eight experience. Oh, we got some treasure that I didn't look at. That's okay. I'm sure it's important. Up here. 